My name is Randy Weston. Uh, my music is called African Rhythms. I have uh, some excellent musicians. I have Louis Nash on drums, Neil Clark on African percussion, Robert Trauer on trombone, T.K. Blue on saxophones, and Alex Blake on bass. We're really a family. And we have a great love and great respect for our ancestors, and we, we constantly exchange information about what happened before us, going all the way back to the very beginning in Africa itself, you see. So we're really a family. We're not a band. Alex Blake, we've been together off and on since the 70s, you see. So we've been together a while. For me, Africa is like the common denominator. You know, it's obvious to me that my ancestors who were taken from Africa brought here, you know. And they set the foundation for, for our existence in America. So if my great-great-great was an African, I have to be an African to respect them. At the same time, I have to honor them, all the sacrifices that they had to go through. People like Louis Armstrong and Duke and Basie, all those early people who created this music, that's our royalty, you see. So our music is to keep people in tune that this music is not old music. It's music of the 20th century, which was Africa's contribution to the Americas, you see. So that's what our music is all about. So I have music from Morocco, from South Africa, Nigeria, whatever, but it's to show that we have a foundation, and that's Mother Africa. It was powerful. See, I went to Nigeria in 61, before the State Department tour, my first trip to Africa. And so when I, when I went to Nigeria, I was perfectly at home, you know. I, I said, hey, I never left, you know. Not that I knew the languages, but I felt the spirit of Africa. It never left me, because of my father, he let me know you know, I had to study African history before colonialism, before slavery. So as a boy growing up, I studied about the great African empires. So I had a foundation. So when I went to Nigeria, I spent two trips. I played with Fela when he played trumpet in 1963. I went to, with Nigeria 61 with Nina Simone, Lila Hampton, uh, Langston Hughes, 29 of us. Spent 10 days in Lagos. Then the State Department happened after. But the same problem was very important because I had my own sextet, Clifford Jordan, Ray Copeland, Bill Wood, Ed Blackwell, and Chief Bay. I had my son with me, and I played the composition I wrote about Africa. But you have to go to the continent to see whether it's real or not. But we had a tremendous uh, experience.